Police have searched the residence of an employee of the European Parliament uh, and at his office in the Parliament's building in Brussels over suspected Russian interference. The suspect's office in Strasbourg, where the EU Parliament's headquarters are located in France, has also been searched as well. We're going to talk about this and more now with our EU correspondent, Dave Keating. Dave, what more can you tell us? Well, this all has to do with this Russiagate probe that's being conducted by the Belgian public pro uh, uh, prosecutor, uh, in which alleges that certain MEPs and their assistants were paid to make contributions to pro-Russian media, uh, notably the website Voice of Europe and, and other websites. Uh, and this is actually targeting one of the assistants for an MEP. Now, the Belgian public uh, prosecutor has announced that they searched this person's home, a private residence in Brussels, as well as their offices at the uh, European Parliament headquarters in Brussels and in Strasbourg. Uh, they haven't yet said who this assistant was working for. However, Politico is reporting that he was working for the far-right Dutch MEP Marcel de Graaf. That has not been confirmed yet by de Graaf or by uh, Belgian public prosecutors. Uh, but also Politico is reporting that he formerly worked for an MEP from the Alternative for Germany party, the far-right party that's riding high in polls right now. And that's quite interesting because that follows on the arrest by German authorities of assistants, of an assistant of the AFD's uh, lead candidate, Maximilian Kra, uh, for allegedly spying for China. So that's an entirely different case. But a lot of these cases do seem to be swirling around the German far-right alternative for Germany party, uh, and this is all coming in the run-up to election as uh, politicians are warning that both Russia and China are trying to influence that upcoming election. Well, that's what's so interesting about all of this, Dave. I mean, these raids took place less than two weeks before these polls across Europe, June 6th to the 9th, to elect a new EU parliament. Can we read anything into the timing of all this? Well, it's interesting because AFD is now really being shunned by lots of different people, including French far-right leader Marine Le Pen, who just led the effort to kick the AFD out of her far-right identity and democracy group. So the AFD now no longer has a home in the European Parliament, even if they do end up being the first or second biggest party uh, from Germany in the European election, probably second. Uh, that leader, Maximilian Kra, who was uh, had the assistant investigator investigated for being a Chinese spy. He stepped down. However, his name will still be on the ballot in Germany as the AFD's lead candidate because it's too late to take it off now. Uh, so the AFD is, is really flailing here, and certainly other far-right parties are trying to distance themselves. However, I think what this uh, new uh, move by the police is showing is that this stretches beyond just the AFD because, of course, this Dutch MEP, if uh, th these reports are true, that the assistant was working for him, of course, is not part of the AFT. Uh, so what will be interesting to watch over the coming days as they really dive into this investigation is how widespread this is. Is this just an AFD problem or is this a problem for the wider far right, including possibly Marine Le Pen's party or other parties in the ID group or the other far right group, the European conservatives and reformists led by Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney?